and we've both said this, is it's we're still processing the experience. I mean, it's been such an extraordinary year for cinema. Well, I don't want to miss a, a moment. Kate, Nina, congratulations on the movie. The film starts uh, with Lydia stirring ever so uncomfortably at the recollection of all her many accolades. This film itself is gathering so much excitement and amassing accolades of its own as we, well, not as we speak, but certainly the other night, didn't it? Yeah, and Bina Diagola, our, our costume designer, just was nominated for yeah. uh, you know, a Designers Guild Award, which is amazing. Fantastic. And I, I can only suggest you guys just batten down the hatches because I imagine there's going to be a lot more of this talk over the next few weeks. But I wondered, as established actors... Do accolades and awards like me, do things like that mean anything to you at this stage other than as a promotional tool to get bums on seats and get eyes on the screen and seeing the work that everyone's worked really hard for? Or do you guys still get a kind of a flutter of excitement about uh, when, when people start to realise uh, how hard people have worked on a certain film? Well, it's so arbitrary, isn't it? I mean, it's been such an extraordinary year for cinema. And I'm, you know, and as you say, like, we want to talk about the film because we want an audience to have the opportunity to see it in the cinema, you know, and so many small um, cinema chains which have extraordinary sound systems and there's extraordinary sound in this movie have shut down, you know, so that opportunity is is narrowing for, for an audience. And that's part of the reason why we try and talk about it. But it's very difficult to talk about, I think. You know, and, we, and we've both said this: is it's we're still processing the experience mm-hmm. because it was just it was felt like a once in a lifetime opportunity that a director throws parts like this at at, at at actors and then trusts you implicitly that you're going to sort of try to or be able to rise to the complexity of them. You know, but of course it's it's wonderful. You know when. Um, you know, various different organisations have, um, you know, all from different points of view, have celebrate a different aspect of the film, you know, and I, I, I think that speaks to the complexity of the film and what a genius director Todd mm. is, you know. One thing that struck me about the film is how authentic it felt. Uh, like I came out of the cinema and I thought, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google Lydia Tarr and see what happens to her in real life. Mm-hmm. Um, I was, I was speaking uh, last night um, to to Julian and I told oh, him, yeah. I thought in his scenes, I thought, oh, this is great. They've got a, a famous composer in and they've coaxed him into sort of like being in the film. And then I realised it was Walter from The Last Crusade, and I was like, God, oh, brilliant. <laughs> it's um, amazing. It's amazing. Uh, how how important is sort of authenticity? Is that the is that the the, the greatest goal of an actor in film to create something that people really buy into? I don't know if I really think in that way. I don't even think about it. I just want to get to the core of it. <laughs> I just want to, in every scene, find as much richness and, I, I, you know, I, I don't want to miss a, a moment or, a, you know, so that, that it becomes nuanced mm. and... Um, uh, and maybe surprising to watch. You think a scene starts and you think, ah, it's going to go that way. I know this kind of situation. And then you take it somewhere else and you maybe had no idea that that would, go, would happen in that moment. The amazing thing with Todd is that he, I don't know, the, 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 the world he creates makes you feel like you're, you are in somewhat, it's very difficult to talk about, in a realistic world. We are sitting in the orchestra. We are with real uh, musicians. We really talk about Mahler's work. We, it, it, so somewhat it, 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 it interconnects the two worlds, us as actors into musicians, the musicians mm. become actors, you know, it was this kind of, it felt very real. I had my violin bag going each morning into the, the, the orchestra, the concert house, and everyone says, hi, Nina, hey, and, you know, you think you're a colleague. Talk so it helped. Real yeah. In that same way, though, did you ever, like I was reading Brian Cranston's autobiography recently, and he talked about his anxiety leading up to playing LBJ um, on the stage, and he was even like a week up to it starting, he was like terrified of not cramming it all in. And this film is so precise with the language, speaking German, with the musicianship, with the mu- the movement. Was there any stage for both of you that you felt maybe 
uh, you might not be able to rise to the challenge, that like you might not be able to get all of these things locked in to create the, 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 the piece of work that you did. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, what, what, what Brian Cranston's describing there is something that you feel all the time when you, when you approach it as something in, or seemingly insurmountable as, as an actor. But uh, this film is so much about you watching someone who is, thinks they're in control of time they think they're in the control of their process. But the biggest and bravest moment as an actor is to, to let your homework leech away and watch it go down the drain and give over control to whatever happens in the present. Mm. And that's where the magic really happens. And I think you have to trust and hope that all, whatever is useful in, your, in the homework that you've done is going to allow you to take flight in the moment. And when you're working with, you know, an incredible cast and, and the Dresden Philharmonie and with Todd Field, who um, instilled such trust and faith in, in all of us, uh, you've got a good chance. But it's terrifying. It's, it's terrifying. absolutely terrifying. But, you know, that's why we do it. It's, you know, that's the, you know, Jeanette Winterson says, you know, what you risk reveals what you value. And I, I really value leaping into the unknown and to have that opportunity at this point in my career. It's like, thank you, Todd, you know. Thank you.